Oh, but I didn't make this point. I didn't say um, about the spiritual integrity. Making sure that you're aligning your um, encounters so that you'll be in a position that all of that is respected. Respected by someone, respected by the person you're... When they go to your website and book, that's respect, okay? When they call your phone or text your phone with something that's stressing them out without going to your site, when you've given, when you're given diagnosis, when you've given your energy, time, ear, and shoulder, and no one says, how can I compensate you for this? I know this is your work. I know this is what you do. It has to be the people that understand what you're giving them is what you do. They're not taking it for granted as you being the person that you are. This is not my cousin. This is not my friend. This is not my sister. This is not my daughter. This is what you do. So how can I compensate you for this? What would you charge somebody else for wound reading? What would you charge somebody else for going through their medical records? I, there's nothing that like this. No type of You don't trust what your doctor's saying, but you trust what I'm saying. But you you make an appointment to go see them, but you won't make an appointment to see me. Like spiritual integrity, that is what that is the category that all of that falls under for me. And I've been finding my, myself in a place where multiple different people have been pulling on me with the work that I do and the energy that I give and haven't offered and me just like, cause I'm, I'm doing it just because of who they are. But after realizing like, girl, what are you, how much are you giving of yourself? It's not even me realizing, it's my ancestors bringing it to my attention. Like, okay, now that you need something, look at your cup, look at your cup all empty. Cause you ain't tell this person that they owe you this. You ain't tell this person what you told them had a price tag on it. Girl, look at you now needing. If you need a service from me, if you want me to bless your home, if you want me to read your wound, if you want me to diagnose you, if you want me to look at some blood work, if you want me to heal your wound, if you want me to get your pussy wet, if you want me to make your dick hard, if you are calling me with all these fucking outlandish requests that you ain't even asking your doctor in detail to do, baby please know that i have a website www.oabby.org overcome adversity and become a better you in all that you do including taking your health your spirit serious instead of just playing because i feel like i'm being played with in the spiritual street i feel like i'm being played with you can't call me and ask me to give myself of all these things. And then if I call you and ask you for something, anything, it can't be given. No matter who you are. I try to put myself in a, not try. I put myself in a position not to be of need. But if there's like my back is against the wall and I actually do need something. There are very few people that can come to mind that I feel like I can text this person and ask them for something. I'm not talking about I can text and they going to send. I'm talking about that I can at least say, hey, a uh, person, I need something. It's not many people that come to my mind that I can even do that with, let alone that's going to return something. So I have to evaluate who and how much of myself I'm giving to people that just got the access to my phone. You have taken all of that for granted for so long. Go to my website. I'm about to start blocking numbers that call me, that call this number and forward my business number. Like you're not even gonna hear from me unless you call my business line. Because the only time I hear from you is when you're telling me something that you want to be done. Your pussy ain't popping or your Ble bleeding too heavy or you need assistance with cleansing energy from your womb and your scrotum 
Your dick ain't getting hard. You want some capsules. You think it's a joke. But I put my energy, time, and effort into creating that for you, man. Sir? Bruh? I don't get when it's done like that and I just give. You don't get no review. You don't get nobody coming up saying, yo, my dick was hard all night and I fucked the shit out of her. You don't get none of that. You don't get, man, this pussy was wet as shit. He couldn't, none of that. But you know, what's up? But you don't get no recognition. And that's because you're not aligning yourself, Shanita, with those, or you're just making yourself available to those that do not know what spiritual integrity is. You're not going to be poured back into by these people. You're not. No matter what you've done for them, what you've done could have saved their lives or saved their world or made their day. Made everything better for them. They don't have the spiritual integrity to compensate you, whether it's in money, energy, love, appreciation, bartering something. Or even just honoring a request. Hey, can you come over? Or call me when you get a chance. I got something to talk to you about. None of that. <laughs> but the next conversation I hear from you is you requesting something again. I, I've told people that I have. I'm going to create kits for this person, that person, and this person. To be honest, like this is starting to now become like, oh shit, I got to make this one for that person. Oh shit, I got to do this for this person. Because all of these people have gotten impromptu consultations that I haven't had time to sit with and write in my notebook and put it on my calendar and literally put it in my spirit to cultivate a kit for them because they haven't paid shit. They haven't given anything. But I, then now their priority for my healing work Get the fuck out of here. Done. Done. And done. I need to just start shutting my mouth. Closing my mouth up to any and every time. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Because everybody that know I know, they come respectfully. And even those that know I know, that be coming disrespectfully. I'm literally about to get amnesia on these motherfuckers. I don't know. I forgot. Well, herbs to what? What's the herb? I don't fucking know. Don't come to me and nothing. 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 202-810-9977. www.oabby.org. If you need digital creations, there's a consultation on there for that. If you need doula packages in whatever capacity birth doula postpartum end of life doula I find myself being an end of life doula for so much family but I'm going to start acting like I am not hearing the spirit of that ancestor go deal with them I have the position uh, permission to say uh 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 no 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 I don't want you over here actually get over there go tell them all of that don't tell me Go tell them what they supposed to have done. Don't tell me. I can't care about any of that. It can't be my, it can't be on the fourth, it can't be on my plate. What somebody else is supposed to do for me. I, I can't feel that, know that, and be right there. And it's like, yo. Yeah, they're not on the same frequency as you to hear the same message that you're getting. In, in regards to all that you've done. But some people just catch me off guard, off the strength that I love them, and they start asking me questions about their health, knowing I'm going to be pulled in. But there is a fee for this conversation, not only because it's money, because I have to have something in exchange for what you're using my spirit for. I am a vessel. I'm not even only. I'm not the only one that's giving you this healing stuff is my ancestors and they need to be paid they need they need offerings they need flowers on their altar they don't drink tap water they like top shelf and they like steak and and, and things for me to cook for them so after these births i gotta go prepare meal and, and, and everything for my ancestors that got me through that birth 
while the mother is is benefiting i'm telling you it'd be static whether it's energy before during or after whether it's some conflict whether it's i'm telling you if you allow yourself to keep doing shit for free you're doing you're you're causing damnation to not only the people you're doing the for, doing it for but for yourself and your spirit and your gift and your purpose stop don't offer yourself to be at anybody else's birth for the fuck free it's a wrap don't offer yourself to be at anybody's beck and call for free It's like now I got to the point where I'm answering this person's calls and texts because I know why they're calling me medically. I know I'm, I'm, I'm being kept in a loop with something medically. But what they're failing to do is go to my fucking site and book my time. At least once. At least once. So, <clears throat> standing in all this power today. They, they, oh, they thrown, they, they set my ass on the throne, crowned me in this big, beautiful mini mansion that I went to bless today. She knew the importance of not having nobody come in her home. She knew the importance of not having anybody come in her home. Not having anybody come in her home until it was blessed by the best and paid top shelf with a tip and you think I'm gonna come do your shit for free fuck out of here this is all I do I'm back on old Abby 100% of the time I can't take no shorts so every phone call that got to deal with something dealing with anything outside of how you doing how your life been going do you need anything how you feeling today what's been going on in your world if the conversation ain't that don't call my fucking phone call 202-810-9977 text that number go to the website and book my time in love in light in darkness and in chaos in all of that overcome adversity and become a better you